Hey, turn the music back on. Huh? Put the music back on. That's okay. It's quite quiet anyway. Somebody's hand on. All right. Yeah. Oh, you're supposed to give me a. Are you supposed to give me a thumbs up or something? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, you can edit the beginning bit out anyway. You can stop and start as well, but yeah. All right, everyone, we're back. And as I was saying, we're going to look at the XM Studios Iron Man suit up. So, first off, you know, when you see this in person, it is an absolutely amazing piece. Um, I actually spoke to kind of Ben about it today, and I said that I, I don't know why they kind of went live with the pre order with the, um, the renders, because it, it, it just doesn't do this, this piece any justice. There is detail upon detail. And you know, looking at this piece, it could be one of the definitive Iron Man pieces out there. Um, it is super impressive off the bat. I mean, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna beat around the bush with it. Um, I do think if I had the space, I would, I, I would go for this. But let's uh, do what we do. We're gonna start off, gonna kind of do a review, start low and work our way up high. So the good thing about this is, this is the um, version B. So with the version B, you get this, this part here, and it actually has the Iron Man outfits in there. Um, I don't know which Iron Man outfits which, so I'm not going to tell you because otherwise I'm going to get lynched by Iron Man fans. So you've got the parts in here. Um, again, so much detail and so cool how, how they're in there. But the best thing about this is it does rotate. Uh, you've got kind of all the cabling uh, down the side here. You've got the stealth suit. I have actually been told to this one. And uh, as you come around again, you then have like an empty space here, which you would assume is actually the suit he's wearing. So yeah, and it's great, great detail in there, really nice. One of the things as well, which um, is almost, uh, you know, quite hidden away, is you have really great like rust effect on, on the base here, like on the, um, it's not checkered plating, but the, the kind of uh, the, the flooring here. And it's done really, really well, the effects on here. It's really nice, really nice paint job. Uh, let's end off with a good one here. Let's put that back. There you go. So we work up into the kind of gantry area. And uh, again, there's just so many details. You've got all the cabling going here and a nice break up with the, uh, the yellow sections on here. Uh, really well done. So it gives that like a factory look. Um, you got the, I'm assuming this is like a light up area here. It's not powered on. And again, you've got that great rust and weathering in the middle there. Almost looks like a speaker, but I'm sure that's like an air vent. Uh, where will we go from here? Because I'm trying to make this simple for Tyler. I don't want to move it around. One of the things as well that we wanted to know is we wanted to talk about was uh, if you look at these kind of sections, each one of these sections does have kind of like a nut and bolt. My kind of assumption here is that they'll go along the same line as the um, Iron Spider with the kind of Allen keys and you can kind of tighten them. And then also you could display this a bit more kind of splayed out if you have the uh, the space. There you go, this is why I'd, I shouldn't be touching things. Um, and then you can kind of position it closer to his chest or further away to spend, depending on how you want that. Um, again, same with the mask. Uh, while you're there, one of the things you might not be able to see, but we can cut to a photo if, if we need to. So you have the screen there, which has got the great detailing of, uh, you know, him selecting the suit. Uh, assuming there he's choosing to put the helmet on and this is yeah it's really well done there again one of the things is they put this up for pre-order with the renders they had a convention in in uh, Bangkok and still at that point there was no good images put out um, Tyler who's actually the cameraman and not just because he's with me but he put some great pictures together we put them out um, over the groups on social media and uh, I think about like right, everyday collector and some of the things you, you got to see, which they didn't show in their, their images before is amazing. I mean, like even, sorry, again, you'd come around this way now. Uh, even the detailing here on the uh, kind of inside of the glove, where you have like so many things going on, just so much there, so much detail that, you know, <clears throat> it's, it's kind of almost wasted in the previous images. You wouldn't see them. And then like, you've also got the, the, the inside of the mask over here there's so much stuff that, that you know you don't get to see but it's it's there it's really there um as you come around to the figure so we come back up to the figure you've got the great sort of cherry uh finish on there so 
Um, it's really, really nice, really well done again. Uh, glossy uh, car paint finish there. Um, some people did complain um, about his suit underneath. Uh, maybe in the comics he doesn't have that, but it's more like in real life, you would kind of have a rash guard underneath this to, you know, if you're going to sweat and things. So I assume that that would make a lot of sense to actually have that kind of outfit on. And I love the way, again, all the parts are kind of going up his body uh, as, as they're joining on. It's really well done. I can't say enough good about this. I mean, I don't work for XM anymore, so I can say what I like. Um, and Ben isn't around here, so yeah, he's not going to kick my ass or anything. But this, the piece is really well done. One of the things as well, the complaints are, you know, like the, the face. I think a lot of people always kind of now, because of the modern times, they want it to look like Robert Downey Jr. or they want it to be like that. But he doesn't look like that in, in the original comics. In the original comics, he does look like this. And he does look like, a, like kind of like Doctor Strange. Uh, he has that look about him. So this is like the original comic way of looking. Because this is uh, version B, you do also get the uh, the bust with this as well, so you can switch out, uh, take off the parts, you know, with the masks, uh, with the chest piece, and actually put this onto the body and take that body off and put him on there. I think it's a really nice touch, and it's also it's like a whole other statue. If you do collect the um, XM quarter scale bust line, which I know Tyler does. You could easily put this with there and have this as another statue, easily. And it's, yeah, it looks fantastic. I'm not going to take it off there because it's a prototype. And whenever I touch things, they get broken. This also does happen to have a version A. Um, with the version A, it actually comes with, where are you pointing? Further in the case, the pieces. Oh, okay. Oh, well played, well played. But with the version A, you don't get this section. And... Uh, this part is lowered down and then also you get the, the switch out sections from, from here and you get the, uh, this, this part of the body and not the, uh, the Tony Stark body. So let's come over here then Tyler, you put it out. So yeah, here's the switch out here. Well done. I didn't even notice that. So that's all the switch out parts that are not gripping um, elements of the Iron Man outfit. Probably a bit of glare there. You have to get one of those covers. Yeah. Actually, you know what? It just lift it off. Really? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> just put it down. That's what they've done for me before. Okay. Well, I don't want to put it down because I've got to pick it back up. And oh, it's all right. Okay. <laughs> I'd rather hold it like... Okay. It's all right. Take it over. I've already got fingerprints all over it and... No, no, no. You can probably hear my breathing though on the thing. These are individual. Those are, yeah. What are these for? They're really individual parts, yeah. For what? Uh, like where the pistons are on the... on there. Okay? Yeah. Now this is... Film you putting it back down and watch <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know I had my fingerprints all over that, so... Yeah. All right, so... Uh, Toddler fingerprints all. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I mean, again, uh, the detailing, we, we can see the back now. They're all here, aren't they? These, these parts, no? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so again, you know, you got all the kind of detail as it goes up the spine. And I love the way it's kind of all connecting in, locking in place there. Um, I, I, you know, if I had the space, all my stuff's boxed up at the moment, which is really frustrating me, uh, no ends. But this, this is such a nice piece. It's really impressive. Again, it's, uh, I had this conversation the other day with a few people, but it's like seeing photos of things, seeing videos of things, you're only ever going to get maximum 70% of the, of the product. And if that's 70% good or 70% bad, 
it's only going to be seven percent. Then that other final part you can't get without seeing it in front of you. And uh, just to get this kind of scale of it in your mind, and just how that kind of centerpiece and that wow factor of it, you know, it's just yeah, it's next level. It is really like this is this is kind of old school XM again, you know. This piece really stands out as a good piece from them. I'm impressed. Um, if you want the version A, which is the one uh, with the smaller base and um, the Iron Man body, that's uh, 1700 Singapore dollars. Edition size of 150, which I think is really, really low edition size for that because I would have thought quite a lot of people would have wanted that to have an Iron Man in their collection. If you get the version B with everything, uh, edition size 399, and that is 2800 Singapore dollars. So yeah, and uh, let us know in the comments. Let us know what you think. Uh, let us know what you like about it. Let us know what you don't like about it. Um, do you think that this is the definitive Iron Man? Which quarter scale Iron Man do you think is the best version? And uh, yeah, definitely would love to see your comments below. Do the usual like, comment, subscribe, share, and, uh, and happy collecting, everyone. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>